Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers in the brain. They transmit signals from one neuron to another across synapses. These signals regulate everything from our mood to our heartbeat. Without neurotransmitters, our brains would be silent and our bodies unresponsive. Neurotransmitters are essential for communication within the brain. They play a key role in how we feel, think, and behave. Each neurotransmitter has a specific function and acts in distinct pathways. For example, dopamine influences pleasure and reward, while serotonin regulates mood and sleep. Understanding neurotransmitters helps us grasp how the brain works. It also sheds light on various brain disorders. By studying neurotransmitters, scientists can develop treatments for conditions like depression, anxiety, and Parkinson's disease. In this essay, we will explore the most important neurotransmitters. We will look at their roles, how they function, and their impact on our health. Join me on this journey through the brain's intricate communication system. Dopamine is one of the most well-known neurotransmitters. It is often called the feel-good chemical because it is linked to pleasure and reward. Dopamine pathways are critical for motivation, addiction, and motor control. It originates in areas like the substantia nigra and the ventral tegmental area. Dopamine is synthesized from the amino acid tyrosine. It is then converted to L-dopa and finally to dopamine. Once released into the synapse, dopamine binds to its receptors on the postsynaptic neuron. These receptors are classified into two families, D1-like and D2-like. Each has a different function and distribution in the brain. The metabolism of dopamine is equally important. Enzymes like monoamine oxidase or MAO and catechol O-methyltransferase or COMT break it down. This ensures that dopamine levels remain balanced. Imbalances can lead to serious health issues. Diseases related to dopamine dysfunction are numerous. Parkinson's disease is caused by the loss of dopamine-producing neurons in the substantia nigra. This leads to motor symptoms like tremors and stiffness. Schizophrenia, on the other hand, is associated with abnormal dopamine levels in different brain regions, affecting thought processes and perceptions. Serotonin is another key neurotransmitter. It is often called the happiness hormone because it influences mood, emotion, and sleep. Serotonin pathways are widespread, originating from the RAFE nuclei in the brainstem and projecting to various brain regions. Serotonin is synthesized from the amino acid tryptophan. It follows a two-step process. First, tryptophan is converted to 5-hydroxytryptophan or 5-HTP, and then to serotonin. This neurotransmitter is crucial for regulating mood, anxiety, and sleep cycles. Its receptors are diverse, with at least 14 different types identified in humans. One fascinating aspect of serotonin is its role in sleep. Serotonin is a precursor to melatonin, the hormone responsible for regulating sleep-wake cycles. This conversion occurs in the pineal gland, particularly in response to darkness. Thus, serotonin not only affects mood but also controls our sleep patterns. Disorders related to serotonin include depression and anxiety. Low levels of serotonin are often found in people with these conditions. Treatments like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, aim to increase serotonin levels in the brain, helping to alleviate symptoms and improve mood. Histamine is well known for its role in allergic reactions, but it also acts as a neurotransmitter in the brain. It's involved in regulating sleep, appetite, and cognitive functions. Histamine neurons are primarily located in the hypothalamus, a brain region critical for homeostasis. Histamine is synthesized from the amino acid histidine by the enzyme histidine decarboxylase. Once formed, it is stored in vesicles and released upon neuronal activation. Histamine receptors are classified into four types, H1, H2, H3, and H4. Each receptor type has distinct functions and locations within the brain and body. In the brain, histamine plays a role in wakefulness and arousal. It helps maintain alertness and is involved in the sleep-wake cycle. Histamine also affects appetite control and cognitive functions like learning and memory. Dysfunction in histamine signaling can lead to sleep disorders and cognitive impairments. The hypothalamus, where histamine neurons are concentrated, is a small but vital region. It regulates many autonomic functions including temperature control, hunger, and circadian rhythms. Histamine's presence in the hypothalamus underscores its importance in maintaining the body's internal balance. Section 5 Glutamate Prevalence and Receptors Glutamate is the most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. It plays a crucial role in synaptic plasticity, learning, and memory. 
Almost every neuron in the brain uses glutamate to transmit signals. Glutamate receptors are divided into ionotropic and metabotropic categories. Ionotropic receptors like NMDA, AMPA, and kinate mediate fast synaptic transmission. Metabotropic receptors modulate neuronal excitability and synaptic plasticity. However, excessive glutamate can be harmful. Overactivation can lead to excitotoxicity, causing neuronal damage and contributing to conditions like stroke and neurodegenerative diseases. Section 6, GABA Inhibitory Function and Receptors. GABA, or gamma-aminobutyric acid, is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. It plays a vital role in reducing neuronal excitability and maintaining balance within neural circuits. Without GABA, our brains would be in a constant state of overexcitation. GABA is synthesized from glutamate by the enzyme glutamate decarboxylase, or GAD. Once released into the synapse, GABA binds to its receptors, which are classified into two main types, GABA-A and GABA-B. GABA-A receptors are ionotropic and mediate fast inhibitory synaptic transmission, while GABA-B receptors are metabotropic and modulate slower synaptic responses. The function of GABA is to inhibit nerve transmission, reducing the likelihood of neuronal firing. This inhibitory action is crucial for controlling muscle tone, regulating anxiety, and ensuring smooth motor control. Dysfunction in GABA signaling can lead to various conditions, including epilepsy, anxiety disorders, and sleep disturbances. Research into GABA has led to the development of numerous medications. Benzodiazepines, for example, enhance GABA's effects and are used to treat anxiety and insomnia. Understanding GABA's role and mechanisms continues to be a significant area of neuroscience research. Section 7. Glycine Role in the Spinal Cord and Brainstem Glycine is a simple amino acid that acts as an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. It is primarily found in the spinal cord and brainstem, where it plays a crucial role in motor control and sensory processing. Glycine is synthesized from serine by the enzyme serine hydroxymethyltransferase. Once released into the synapse, glycine binds to glycine receptors or glyars on the postsynaptic neuron. These receptors are ionotropic and mediate fast inhibitory synaptic transmission, similar to GABA-A receptors. In the spinal cord, glycine's inhibitory action helps regulate muscle tone and reflexes. It is essential for coordinating smooth and controlled movements. Glycine also plays a role in processing sensory information, particularly in the brainstem, where it helps modulate auditory and visual signals. Disruptions in glycine signaling can lead to serious health issues. Hyperechlexia, a rare genetic disorder, is characterized by exaggerated startle responses due to dysfunctional glycine receptors. Understanding glycine's role in the nervous system is crucial for developing treatments for such conditions. Section 8, Nitric Oxide Synthesis and Signaling Functions. Nitric oxide or NO is a unique neurotransmitter because it is a gas. Unlike traditional neurotransmitters, nitric oxide is synthesized on demand and diffuses freely across cell membranes. It is synthesized from L-arginine by the enzyme nitric oxide synthase, or NOS nitric oxide activates guanylate cyclase, producing cyclic GMP, a secondary messenger. Nitric oxide is involved in synaptic plasticity, learning and memory. It also regulates blood flow by dilating blood vessels. However, excessive nitric oxide can lead to neuroinflammation and neuronal damage. Research continues to uncover nitric oxide's complex functions in the brain. Section 9. Conclusion, the central role of neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are the brain's communication system. They transmit signals, regulate functions, and maintain balance. Each neurotransmitter has a unique role, from dopamine's pleasure and reward to serotonin's mood regulation. Understanding neurotransmitters helps us comprehend brain function. It also provides insights into various brain disorders. By studying these chemical messengers, scientists can develop treatments for conditions like depression, anxiety, and Parkinson's disease. The brain's complexity is mirrored in its neurotransmitters. Each one, whether excitatory or inhibitory, plays a part in the intricate network of neural communication. Their study is crucial for advancing neuroscience and improving human health. In conclusion, neurotransmitters are essential for brain function. They influence our thoughts, feelings, and actions. As research progresses, we will continue to unlock the secrets of these fascinating molecules, enhancing our understanding of the brain and its workings.